Hi and welcome to my channel. So today I'm bringing you my week 22 of my project life for 2016. So I've got quite a few coming up over the next few days because I've been busy, busy um, creating, just not doing voiceovers. So <laughs> I'm on a voiceover marathon today. But for week 22, I have used the Print Fresh Studio Dream On collection. So I have the 6x6 paper pad, I have the rubber chips, and then I have the die cuts. So that's what I'm using today. Um, I started off with a selection of the papers I thought I wanted to use, um, and then realised that the, the paper with the words on um, didn't quite look right on this spread, so I did switch that out. I then took some time and cut apart the cut apart piece of paper with all these little blocks of words and I found that really helped this layout to come together. So on the bottom card, uh, on the blue card, uh, I've used the title Wild and Free with an arrow from the die cut pack and then I'm going to try a few different die cuts in a few different places as well as the cut aparts until I settle on one I like which is the way I always do project life. So up at the top I have a picture of a bus that was provided by one of my daughters and I did pop on a little adventure. I think that was the day she, yeah, she went on a, on a random trip on the bus just because she wanted to with a friend and yeah, why not? Uh, they ended up, you know, far-ish away from home but as far as her college bus pass would allow her. And they had a good time, had milkshakes and came home. So that is my teenager's life. Uh, but yeah, moving on. <laughs> on the bottom card I've popped uh, a few of the die cuts. So I've got a little circle die cut with lines and then I also use the little plant pots. I don't know whether the little plants in pots are relevant but I thought they were cute and project life doesn't have to be relevant but it does have to look cute. So they, they do end up staying there. I've got on the top left hand corner I've got a reach for the sky word phrase and I popped on one of the little rubber charms as well from the Dream On collection of the little cute camera though I'm sure I could use about 20 of those. I've decided that I'm not thinking I need to save those for layouts or I need to save this for something else. If I like it I'm just going to use it because otherwise I have far too much stuff sat in my stash and it doesn't get used. So I'm at the point now where I'm going to start sticking, which is quite quick for me. Uh, I've, on the middle card I've got Yes to Awesome and another little rubber charm. And then to add on some extra little bits, I'm going to have a mess about with a couple more of the rubber charms, but didn't quite feel that they sat right. So I'm going to pull out my blue box, which has got enamel dots, enamel shapes, little brads, all sorts of other little bits. And I do use a Simple Stories brad from the Let's Party collection. And that's the yellow one in the bottom right hand corner. And that says Yippee. I tried another one, but it just wasn't quite working. So I stuck with the one. I then went through a few different enamel dots, trying to see which ones would have the best colour, just to make a little cluster. And settled on some older ones. They're My Mind's Eye and The Sweetest Thing. So that's where those, and they hadn't been used up till this point, and now they have two used. So that's progress. They'll get used eventually. Also brought out some little rubber words from Studio Calico, but they weren't quite working for me. Lastly, what I do add though, and what does work all the time, is the Simple Stories little word strips. So I've got the Tim Holtz ones, absolutely love them. Simple stories is just some different phrases and sayings along the same lines. So with my little plant pots, I have a little make it happen. And with my lovely nephew on his bike, I've just got an I love this. And then finally, I will add one to the middle card and that just says this and that. Because it is a bit of this and there is a bit of that. And then finally, once I've finished messing about, thinking, do I want any more, do I not? Has it really got completed this quick? Am I really on a roll? And it turns out it was. I did 
decide to outline all of my cards in the black pen as per usual. So firstly I'm going to clear off the desk a little bit so I can get to it. Throw all my little die cuts back in their little tub. And this is now where I stick down the rubber charms which I'm using the Stamping Up Fine Liner glue pen, fine tip glue pen, um, which I find works wonders because I can't find Scotch quick dry adhesive anywhere. So if it works, it works. So yeah, I'm going to go around them all in black pen and that will be me done for this layout. So thank you very much for joining me. There is going to be some close-ups at the end and if you have any questions over anything I've done, please let me know in the comments below. I will answer all comments and all questions. It can take me a couple of days, but I will um, get the answers that you're wanting. So thank you very much for joining me and I will speak to you all again soon.